How many times have you written a blog post, shared it once, and then not looked at it again? Don't worry, we're all guilty of this. But for your content to work really hard for you and get the return on investment, you really do need to be repurposing your content. In this video, I'm gonna give you lots of ideas on what you can do to create content with just one blog post. Even if you just implement a few of these suggestions, you're gonna have a huge impact on the results that your blogs get you. I'm Laura Bean, and this is Creative Little World. Firstly, let's start with the blog post itself. This should be well optimized for SEO. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, check out one of my recent videos on the tool Neuron Writer, which is a great tool that's really gonna help you optimize those blog posts. I'll pop a link in the description to that video below. Blogs are great because they are evergreen content. Now, obviously that may depend if you have information in there that needs updating. But the idea generally is that they sit on your website and they work for you. They bring traffic in organically and they show how you are the expert in your field and that you're providing helpful content for your audience. But it's what you do with those blog posts next that's really important. Turn your blog post into a video. Now you've already got your script, your blog is your script, which you can then turn into a video. Now the additional benefit of this, as well as where you post it, so channels like YouTube, you can share it on your LinkedIn, your social media, you can also add it to the blog itself. And what you're doing here is giving your audience another way to consume your content, because we all consume content differently. Some people do prefer video. Now I understand we're not all keen to put our faces out there on video, and that's okay, there are other ways of doing it, whether it's getting another team member to do your videos, outsourcing the work, or even using animation or AI to create your videos. I have a video on how to create AI videos using Canva, and again, I'll pop that in the description below. Next up, we have shorts and reels. So these are short video clips, so they can be from 15 seconds to a minute long, they can be put on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, short, snappy, and eye-catching. And what's great is that you've already got so much content in your blog already. Go through your blog post and pull out those really helpful nuggets of information. Turn these into shorts and reels and share them across your platforms. I bet you'll be surprised just how many you could create from one blog post. Next up, we've got social media posts. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, we're all quite guilty of sharing our blogs once and never doing it again. But this is why you're creating the evergreen content. It gives you continual information to share. When you're planning your social media posts and you're stuck on what to say, go back and look at your old blogs. What could you reshare? What bit of information, the entire blog itself? You can share that blog post time and time again. You can change the messaging on the social media post, perhaps the graphic that goes with it, to keep that content fresh and new. Because I guarantee posting it once won't always capture your audience. But when that information is fed out time and time again, eventually it's gonna resonate with your audience or you're just gonna catch them at the right time and they're gonna click through to that content. So don't let it sit there going stale, keep resharing it on your social media posts. LinkedIn articles. It's a really great place to show yourself off as an expert in your field. By sharing your blog post ads and LinkedIn article as well, you are reaching that additional audience. You could tailor it slightly so it might be a different style for the audience you have on LinkedIn. But the content is already there, so why not share it on this other platform? The same goes for blogging sites like Medium. Get your content out there as many places as you can. Okay, email content. Right, let's be honest. How many times have you said you're going to send a newsletter or an email to your mailing list and each week you don't know what to say so you put it off time and time again? Yeah, me too. But with your blog content, you've already got a rich source of information that you could turn into helpful emails for your audience. You obviously don't want to share the entire blog post in an email, that would be too much, but take a snippet from it, make it conversational, weave out those useful snippets and create an email out of those. Again, you could probably get four or five emails out of one blog. So use these as your source of inspiration for your email marketing. 
Lead magnets. So lead magnet is a helpful bit of information, a tool or a resource that you are giving away for free in exchange for something like an email address from your audience. Now with that helpful blog post you've written, why not turn it into an ebook or a guide that you could give away for free. You could turn it into a checklist or any other useful download that you feel is appropriate for your audience. Lead magnets are a great way to build your mailing list and as we've already established, you've now got plenty of email ideas to send to your list. Okay, next up we have podcasts. Now a bit like we've done with the video and you can potentially do this at the same time, create a podcast out of your blog content. Just imagine how easy it's going to be to talk for 20 minutes on the content that you've put in a blog post. Again, this is also another platform for people to consume your content on. And again, you're touching the different ways that people consume content. Webinars and workshops. So your blog has given you some ideas and inspiration to share with others. Why not turn this into a helpful webinar or a workshop? Use the blog content as the foundation. This allows for real-time interaction with your audience where you can answer questions and delve deeper into the content. So there you go, there are some repurposing ideas for your blog post. This is gonna turn you into a content machine and you're gonna be reaching new audiences on different levels and across different platforms, all from one blog post. So don't just post a blog post and leave it go stale, make it work for you and I guarantee the return on the investment is going to be worth that additional effort. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I produce lots of helpful content like this. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you might want to check out my review of Neuron Writer to help you create those well-optimized blog posts. And if you're thinking of doing video, check out my Canva and AI video here. I'll see you next time.